Hi, uh, in today's lecture, we are going to learn uh, a very important concept called Chinese Reminder Theorem. Uh, let us have a look at this question. When n is divided by 3, the reminder is 2. When n is divided by 5, the reminder is 3. When n is divided by 7, the reminder is 2. We have to find the minimum number satisfy all the three conditions. So to solve questions like this, we use Chinese Reminder Theorem or CRT. I will teach you two shortcut techniques how to solve questions of this type. But firstly, we learn how to solve Chinese Reminder Theorem according to the Gauss algorithm. So he is the first person who has given some algorithm to solve questions like this. Even though this procedure appears to be a bit, dif a bit difficult for you, but please try to learn the concept and uh, we subsequently discuss the two shortcut techniques. So to find uh, the minimum number satisfies this condition through Gauss algorithm. First, you find the pairwise products of the divisors. For example, here we can find the value of n1 by multiplying all the three divisors and dividing it by d1. So that means d1 into d2 by into d3 divided by d1 will give you d2 into d3. So simply write 7 into 5, 35 here. Similarly, we can find n2 by multiplying these two divisors product which will give you 21 and n3 can be written as 3 into 5 15. So this is the first step. The second step is we have to find a value called c1 so that n1 into c1 divided by d1 will give you a reminder of 1. Here n1 equal to 35 multiplied by c1 divided by d1. Here the divisor that we know that is equal to 3. Right. Reminder equal to 1. Therefore, now if you divide 35 by 3, what is the reminder? Reminder is 2. If you substitute c1 equal to 2, 35 into 2 will give you 70. 70 when divided by 3 will give you a reminder 1. Therefore, we will say c1 equal to 1. Uh, c1 equal to 2. Sorry. Similarly, we can find n2 c2 whole divided by d2 the remainder equal to 1. In this case, n2 will become 21. c2 we need to find out. d2 in this case is 5. Now we can see here 21 when divided by 5 will give you a remainder of 1. Therefore, c2 equal to 1 obviously. So therefore, we will take c2 equal to 1 because 21 divided by 5 will give you a remainder of 1. Similarly, we will find n3 c3 whole divided by d3. We have to find the remainder. Now n3 is 15, 15 multiplied by c3 and the divisor in this case is 7. So the remainder equal to 1. Now 15 divided by 7 will give you remainder 1, therefore c3 equal to 1. So c3 equal to 1. Once you found c1, c2, c3 values, we can find the remainder directly. For that, we have to calculate n1, c1, r1 plus n2, c2, r2 plus n3 c3 r3 whole divided by d1 d2 d3. You can simply remember that this as NCR, Delhi National Capital Region. So NCR is very easy to remember. Now we can up, we can just substitute all the numbers that we have found. n1 equal to 35, c1 equal to 2, remainder r1 in this case is 2, plus n2 21, c2 equal to 1, r2 equal to 3. Now n3 15 and uh, c3 equal to 1 and r3 equal to 2. So whole divided by d1, d2, d3 is 105. Now, so 35 into 2 is 70, 70 into 140, 21 into 3 is 63. 15 into 2, 30. Whole divided by 105. So, 3 here. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 4, 13. So, 233 by 105. So, 105 goes 2 times in 233. Therefore, 210 we need to subtract. So, we will get the remainder as 23. Let us cross check. When you divide 23 by 3, we will give you a remainder of 2. 3 goes 7 times in 23. When you divide 23 by 5, which will give you 3 as a reminder. 
when you divide 23 by 7 you will get 2 as a reminder so this is the procedure to find the least number by using the gauss algorithm but i will teach you another simple shortcut technique how to solve questions like this without this confusion the first thing is when you divide n by 3 the remainder is 2 therefore you can write n as 3k1 plus 2 here k1 is some quotient similarly the same n can be represented as when you divide it by 5 the remainder is 3 therefore this can be represented as 5k2 plus 3 similarly the same n can be represented as 7k3 plus 2 so take any two equations uh, in the first place and solve for integers for example take these two numbers so 3k1 plus 2 equal to 5k2 plus 3 send 2 to the other side so 3k1 equal to 5k2 plus 1 so k1 equal to 5k2 plus 1 whole divided by 3 now here k1 and k2 both are integers for what value of k2 this k1 will become an integer so when you substitute k2 equal to 1 you will get 6 6 divided by 3 2 it's an integer so for k2 equal to 1 this equation is getting satisfied if you simply substitute k2 in this equation you will get the least number which satisfies the first two equations for example if you substitute k2 equal to 1 in this equation you will get 8 you will see 8 is the least number satisfies the first two equations when you divide 8 by 3 you will get 2 as a reminder when you divide 8 by 5 you will get 3 as a reminder now once you get k2 value what is the general format of the equation which satisfies the first two equations this is very important therefore now n can be written as k4 into some number like some quotient lcm of both the divisors here 3 and 5 both are divisors plus least number satisfies the condition least number satisfies the condition satisfies the condition therefore here lcm of 3 comma 5 is 15 therefore n should be in this format of 15 k4 plus 8 that means all the numbers which are in the format of 15 k4 plus 8 satisfies the first two equations now we have to include the third equation also so what we can write 7 k3 plus 2 equal to 15 k4 plus 8 now again we have to find k3 and k4 in integers so send 2 to the other side so 7 k3 equal to 15 k4 plus 6 now k3 equal to 15 k4 plus 6 whole divided by 7 so to make uh, things simpler just divide 15 k4 by 7 which goes two times so 2 k4 is the integer part when you divide 15 k4 by 7 2 k4 is the integer part now only k4 left so k4 plus 6 whole divided by 7 now for what value of k4 this equation will become integer so k4 equal to 1 because 1 plus 6 whole divided by 7 will give you k3 as an integer so for k4 equal to 1 you will get the minimum number satisfies these two equations so when you substitute k4 equal to 1 you will get 23 so 23 is the least number satisfies all the three conditions now what is the general format of all the numbers which satisfy these three conditions so for that you have to take n equal to some random number k lcm of all the three divisors 3 comma 5 comma 7 plus the least number satisfies all the three conditions 23 therefore 105 k plus 23 is the general format of all the numbers which satisfies this condition sometimes you are asked to find how many numbers are there between 100 and 1000 which satisfies this condition that means all the three digit numbers which satisfy this condition then you have to use this formula all these numbers are in arithmetic progression with a common difference of 105 because this is a linear equation now let us check 23 satisfies all the three conditions or not when you divide 23 by 3 the remainder is 2 when you divide 23 by 5 the remainder is 3 when you divide 23 by 7 the remainder is 2 so this is the general method of solving 
questions like this. This is the most efficient method. Instead of following this Gauss algorithm, I suggest you to follow this method. Uh, there is another simple method. Suppose when the numbers are small like this, you can directly solve this question. That method also I discuss here. This is very simple. You start with the biggest divisor. So we know that the n should be in the format of 7k plus 2, right? 7k plus 2. Just give some numbers. That means uh, k3 equal to 0, k3 equal to 1, k3 equal to 2. So 2 means uh, 14 plus 2, 16. Like all the numbers are in arithmetic progression with a common difference of 7. So 23, 30, so on and so forth. Now check which number satisfies the second condition. So the second condition, when you divide these numbers by 5, the remainder should be 3. So 9 divided by 5 won't give you a remainder 3. This will give you a remainder 1. But this number will give you a remainder of 3. That means 23 is the least number which satisfies these two conditions. Therefore, the general format of the number should be k into LCM of both the numbers 35k plus least number satisfies the condition 23. Now, just give values for k and find what are the numbers which satisfy this condition. When k equal to 0, the first number is 23. When k equal to 1, the second number will be uh, 58, so on and so forth. Now, of these numbers, now implement the first equation. Just divide these numbers by 3, where you are getting a remainder of 2. Now, see very easily that 23 when divided by 3 will give you a remainder 2. Therefore, 23 is the least number which satisfies all the three conditions. So, this is the simplest method of solving these questions, but sometimes uh, the minimum number goes up to uh, 500, 600. In that case, you have to check a lot of numbers. So that is quite difficult to, you know, solve in the examination point of view. That is why this is the most efficient method of uh, solving any question uh, that can be solved by using CRT.